Welcome to Nova Videos. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Nova 2.14 release. We have um, improved the charge discharge Galvan aesthetic and also show this in a demo 22 file. So in the demo database, you will find a new file which shows this new feature, new procedure. We've also improved the, the overlays and there's a possibility to import a table for repeat during the runtime, so during a measurement. Also, there's an option to turn off uh, the events logging, and we have done some big bugs fix it, and we've updated the user manual. I'm focusing on the first two features of the release, charge discharge or Kelvin aesthetic. It's a new default procedure. It allows the battery researcher to get started quickly and easily with Kelvin aesthetic charge and discharge measurements. Also, we have uh, created a new demo data file, demo 22. It's a large file which shows a continuous measure measurement of 80 hours. Also, we've improved the overlay so we can set the titles and the colors of the overlay plots. Welcome to the Nova software. A new default procedure has been added, Chrono Charge Discharge Galvan Aesthetic. This procedure allows battery researchers to get started quickly and easily with Galvan Aesthetic charge and discharge measurements. The charge discharge sequence is configured inside a repeat loop. The current is applied and potential is measured. The battery charges at a constant current until a cutoff of the potential is reached. Following the cutoff, the procedure continues to discharge step and all the relevant parameters may be configured by the user, including the charge and the discharge current, the duration of the charge and the discharge steps, the values of the potential cutoff, the number of charges and discharge cycles, so how many repeats, and all these steps can be adjusted. So if you go to library, open library, default procedures you'll find in chrono methods, the chrono charge discharge Kelvin aesthetic. When we double click on it, it is just a repeat loop which sets the outlet control into a Galvan aesthetic mode. Of course you have to select the proper current range, so it depends on what kind of current you're going to apply, then you also have to select the proper current range. In the repeat loop there is a charge current and a discharge current. Of course, these values are all uh, editable, so you can uh, change the parameters accordingly to your own cell setup. Switch the cell on, and then we start to record the signals. In this example, we're going to record the signals for 3600 seconds, with an interval time of one second. In the record signals, we can set the, the options, and the options we will find the cutoff values. So if the voltage of the battery uh, is not allowed to go higher than 4.2 volt, then it will stop the command and then it will go to the next command. Nice thing about link S is that you can set cutoff max volt. And when you select this one, it will be available in the command. So you can see here, Cut off max fault. The nice thing about this is that you can also modify the parameter here and increase it to 5 volt, for example, and then it will ultimately automatically adjust it in the options as well. You see here. Yeah. The same counts for the discharge step, of course. Here you can also modify the cutoff values accordingly. Cutoff V minus V, for example. So now it's um, 2.5, you see 2.5, but at the moment I'm going to change it to 2, for example. You will see in the options 2. So this is the new procedure which we've entered into the default procedures.
Also, a new demo database file, demo22, has been added accordingly. This demo22 provides an example of the new chrono charge discharge Kelvin aesthetic procedure, which we saw previously. And uh, this uh, measurement is done on a cylindrical battery. This is my plot. So here you'll see the data of the, the current step. So the current is the red line and the voltage response is the blue line. And this is done about 120,000 seconds. For a long period, we can measure these signals. If you want to extract the plots from each other, say, okay, I want to have because at the moment both are plot number uh, and plot number two, you can just change the plot number and then the, you will separate the voltage and the current from each other like this. So here you only have the voltage information and this is what the current which you have applied. So this is the demo data which we have uh, recently added to the demo database. This is the demo database and it's demo number 22. The next thing feature we've put in Nova 2.14 is um, a new overlay. The possibility to edit plot properties has been added to the new overlay tab. This new functionality allows the plotted data series to be configured, including the point or line styles and colors. Each data series in the overlay plot can now be given a title that is propagated automatically to the legend. The overlay plot can be given a title as well. So for example, if we have uh, two files in the demo database, 12 and 13, uh, one is with ethanol and one is without ethanol. So when I open demo 12, it's the just a sulfuric acid on platinum and the same Sulfuric acid, sulfuric acid with ethanol on platinum as well. And then you get this response. If you overlay these plots on top of each other, you select right mouse click, add to new overlay. Overlay one becomes available. And this you can do the same with the other one. At the moment, you'll see two blue lines. And if you want to change that and say, okay, I want to have this one uh, red, for example, you'll see you can directly change the colors inside of the overlay. This is very convenient. And you can also change the title. For example, the green line is uh, platinum sulfuric acid. And the other one is platinum sulfuric acid and ethanol. And you can give it a name as well. Something like this. The nice thing about this is that you can um, uh, you can switch off the plots if needed, and you can also copy um, or make this as a new plot or send it, export it as an as a, uh, image file, and you can select different type of extensions like JPEG, bitmap, GIF, all kind of different type of, uh, let's say, test, overlay, overlay test, Oop. like this, save, and I can open it in my overlay test plot like this thank you for watching nova videos if you found this nova video helpful like and share with your colleagues please subscribe to the metrum outlab youtube channel so you are notified when new videos are available.